A good friend of mine asked me this question the other week. You know, do you ever have dark days, these dark days where you feel like it's too much? And that instantly told me that question that he thought, you know, just because I'm a coach and, you know, nature, what I post online and what I work with people on, that I don't, like, I don't have those struggles at all. But honestly, yes, I do have my dark days as well. I'll tell you about one of them that happened last year. So last year, I'm working hard on growing my coaching business by looking for people who need the help that I have to give, you know? I can recognize when people are dealing with some mental health issues or some emotional pain and they're struggling and it's showing up in the actions that they take each day. And at those times, maybe I'll start a conversation and figure out if they're ready to be helped. One of these times, I attempted to help a fellow father that I felt related a lot to the struggles that I had at the beginning. You see, this father had many mental health issues. He was on, he was in law enforcement. And for many, many years, he was in law enforcement until something happened and put him in this really, really rough mental place. And he became a single father as well in the same time frame. Began raising his son by himself. And so this fellow is just struggling and struggling. But the one thing that he kept doing is pouring himself into his son. Whatever his son needed, he would pour into it. If it was martial arts, if it was this special type of training here, he built an account for his son online. He was trying his hardest to build up everything for his son and pour into him. And what I recognized immediately is that he was using that as a distraction from working on himself. Now, don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with putting what you have into working with your kids and making them better than you were. But at the same time, the best thing that you can give to your kids is the best version of you. And I recognized that he was struggling with health issues. He was overweight. He hadn't dealt with any of those things in the past. And so I kept starting combos with him and kept trying to help him. And at a certain point, I approached it to see if maybe he could accept some of the help that I wanted to give, right? Normal. And what ended up happening was an explosive return. You see what happens with people, and you may have noticed it with yourself, is that when you've been living your life a certain way and someone asks you questions that poke not at you, but at the subconscious programming that's keeping you stuck, there's a defense that pops up. You may get angry, or you may shut down and walk away, or you may put yourself into this place of solitude, or you may reach out and try to control everything in order to bring yourself to this place where you feel comfortable again, and that's what happened. He blew up and got angry and started cussing and going for the jugular and all these different things. And for me as a coach, that's something that can happen as you're trying to help people. But that day, it just hit me hard because I felt really invested in helping that one guy. And so that gave me a dark day. But I allowed myself to just feel depressed and feel defeated and feel like a failure because I couldn't help that one person. And not to say that every dark day I have is relating to when I'm trying to help people. I've dealt with a lot of my own struggles and the biggest thing that always comes up for me is fear. My childhood, everything I've done in the military, all that stuff. The feeling of fear always creeps up and will shut me down if I allow it to. So what I told my friend is, yeah, I have my dark days as well. The difference between me and most people, and probably the reason why you asked me because you noticed this, is that I don't ever let them shut me down. I come back again for more. And as I've grown and matured and worked through and kept working on myself, because even though I help other people work on themselves, every day I'm showing up and putting in the same work I tell other people to put in. I show up and I do some inner work on myself as well. So when that fear comes up, I have ways to deal with it. I face it right there in the moment and it fades away like a fleeting dream. 
The thought that brought on the fear is just poof, gone, it disappears. And I feel these increasing moments of peace, these increasing moments of freedom. And that's the real secret to these dark days is that once you dive into the emotions that are coming up, once you start to face yourself and do the inner work, however you choose to do it, because you can meditate, you can journal, you can do breath work, you can find time to get some peace out in nature by yourself. You gotta experiment and figure out what works for you. Once you start doing that every single day, it gets easier. It gets easier, but understand that the work never goes away. You're still gonna have these days that hit you. They just hit different when you know how to handle it. So if you're having those dark days, that's what I will tell you, is to start experimenting with ways to face it. The number one thing that I tell people not to do, you need to stop doing this, is ignoring. Don't push it down or push it away or try to dive into some distraction to ignore those dark days when they pop up because they will come back. And like some evil supervillain, they come back stronger every single time until you're like my mom when I was growing up lying in the bed with the covers over your head, feeling this heavy bout of depression, and you spend the whole day there struggling to get up and take even a single step. And that was the product of ignoring the warning that I'm giving you. So before the year is over, I want you to think hard about that and what you actually want to happen in your life and what being able to control your emotions or feel them, truly feel them, would mean for you? What would that allow you to have in your life? And follow this account, because I'm gonna creating, I'm in the process of creating a course specifically for people like you, so that you can sit with your emotions better, you can have outlets for them, and you can use them to generate the energy that you need, so that when your kids come up and you're tired after a long day of work, Instantly, instead of getting annoyed and agitated and say, I need space for myself, I need time for myself, you're able to fall into this place of love and gratitude and you just go dive in and you have fun and you're a big kid. Wouldn't that feel free? Wouldn't that feel amazing? Stay tuned for more.